Hi everyone, welcome to the KeyOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be taking a look at a more advanced usage of uh, the DevCLI that the DevCLI framework that we have been using. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. I'm also going to be posting the links of the previous videos so you can keep it up. And I also would like to let you know that I have a Telegram channel now, so you can have direct access to me and some uh, exclusive content on the channel. Right, so if we take a look at what we have on our on our CLI and what we already talked about in the last video, we have some some fairly basic functionality, right? Uh, I can do BB libs and it's going to uh, tell me some specific libs that I have. These I, we still need to fix these, but I'm going to go over these other commands that I haven't uh, talked about yet. So the first command that we're going to take a look on is date, right? When I hit bb date and I do to date, it asks for a Unix timestamp. So if I search for a Unix timestamp. Let's take uh, the current time right now, and and I pass on here. It's going to tell me uh, the local time, right? But the command that does these these uh, timestamp to human readable, it's different in Mac and in Linux. But this CLI allows you to create the same command applying for both of those two uh, operating systems. So if you take a look at the what I did was date. So the date command is right here, right? So this is a subcommand date, which is the same as a file date. So when we take a look here, we have a date to date not implemented a function, and we have this handle interface. So if we go to bb8 docs handle interface, it's going to talk a little bit about what is the handle interface, and you can read these uh, to to understand the the official documentation about it. But what this handle interface does is is going to go to the cd map in the conf directory. Right, and in the CD map file is going to look for the CD map array, associative array, or, or can call can, it's the same as a dictionary or hash map for the same an, uh, value of the subcommand or, or the file. So what is saying here is like I'm, I'm this value is going to be whatever it's in this variable and this variable is actually this variable this uh, variable here which is executing this command right so basically what this command is doing this command is on the environment anything in the environment as already talked in the previous video everything in the environment file uh, is going to be accessed by any of the following files so the OS X is going to check if this is a Mac or not so this is going to execute a, the uname command and is going to check if it's daring and is going to return true if it's daring. So if I do uh, uname, it's daring, right? So this is a Mac. So what this is going to do is going to, if this is a Mac, it's going to print Mac OS, Mac OS date. If it's not, it's going to print Linux date. So this and this is going to this is going to be attributed to this variable, this echo, and something is how you pass on the value to uh, you return a value. So this would be the same as doing this, right? So if I execute the command, it works. But if I change to Linux, it won't work because this is a Mac. So pretty much this is telling us uh, what to do. The catch here is the handle command. The handle interface is going to be looking for a CMD map value inside the CMD, CMD map 
file, right? And it, this is how it's going to figure out what needs to do. But when it inserts the value here, macOS date, and you can read this exactly here, is going to look for a file with the same name starting with a underline. So we have underline macOS date and we have underline Linux date. When I go to the macOS date, it has the function with the same name as the this, this function here and it has the command. So if I type this <coughs> with this value, is, is exactly the same thing. On the Linux, it's a little bit different, the command. That's why it does not work on a Mac, because the Mac does not understand this specific instruction. Right? So in a nutshell, we are able to have different commands on a Mac, on a Linux. Right? So you don't have to have different specific commands for Mac or specific command from like a not command. You could you don't necessarily have to have like a, a sub command for date in Linux or date in Mac. Uh, one single command can figure out if it's a Mac or if it's a Linux, which is very powerful. The following one that we're going to take a look uh, is the URL. So if we take a look at the URL, uh, we can see, we, we yeah, I skipped the docs, I think, right? So we have the docs. I think I already showed last video. It's going to give you a rough understanding of the docs. Uh, the URL is fairly cool, right? So we have a list of URL where I can show my URL, my, my, my URL and I can open a specific URL if I want to, right? So when you take a look at the command, and I'm not, not going to go into the details of the code itself because you're going to be writing one of these functions for the QA ops specifically. Uh, this is pretty much showing the current list. So when you take a look, this is what this is doing, right? This is printing this specific part here. So the rest is pretty pretty similar. Uh, you have the menu and you have the decision on, on what to do. But there is a new command here called load conf. And you can go to the command, the show doc load conf for a, a, an explanation on what is that command. But in a nutshell, load conf list is expecting a config file name named list. So if we go to the conf file, to the conf folder, you're going to see a URL folder because the load conf is going to be expecting a folder of the same name of the subcommand and this subcommand is uh, URL. And inside is going to expect a list file. And in this file is going to have an array with the same name of the file and some values here. So you have Jira and you have Git. And just by having this, you have access to that specific, um, you have f access to this in the method, right? In the, in the file. So in our URL file, we already have access to the list here. Right? Cool. That's how, and, and you, you can use this not only for li for listing URLs. You can use for uh, having like a, a list of team members, and you can have a specific uh, functionality if a team member is logged in or not, uh, because you can just check who who is logged in by the users command. So you, it's fairly easy for you to know. Uh, to write a CLI or a command that is going to say, hey, if it's Raphael, then Raphael would like a specific thing to appear the way that he likes. So, cool. And the next command is the VCS, version control. And this is very powerful command, right? So, the first thing that I'd like to show you is what it can do right now. So, so if I go to 
the folder where my CLI is, is this folder here, right? And you have CLI in the other repos of uh, the channel. Just by this, just by having a CLI as a sibling in uh, along with all the folders, all the repositories, the CLI is going to have access to the repository of every sibling. And this is amazing, right? So I can come here, BB8, and do VCS, and then I can check the status. I can check the status and it check the status of every single one of those. I can I can update those as well. It's updating, right? Everything's already up to date and this one is not a repository. So it just it gave an error and, and, and uh, showed to another, you went to the next one. And this is regardless of how many repository, repositories you have. You don't have to set this up. It already knows because it has access to the folder itself. So any new repository is already going to be there. So if you have a, if you have, if you're working on a team that has multiple repositories, you don't have to manually update each one of those. You just can execute one single command. Uh, whenever you start the day or during the day, and it's going to update everything without you having to do much work. Cool. But how this actually works? So this, we, we are going to go handling the handle interface once more time. So you're going to see that the VCS has the inter handle interface and has two methods not implemented. These are the same methods that we have access to, right? So by our earlier explanation, the handle interface is going to look for a array inside the CMD map that has the value VCS, right? So VCS and has the value git. And this is going to look for a file called underline git, which is here. So it has the VCS status and VCS update and is doing the sweep whip, which is a tool inside that already comes from with the set CLI that does the whole checking of the repository and so on. But this is not important right now. This is important, right? So now what I can do with the CMD map, let's say that my team is now using SVN, right? So I can come here and I can say SVN and if I change, if I try to execute the command, it's going to look, any of the commands going to look for a file called underline SVN because this is the functionality of the VCA, the CMD map. So I can create a file called underline SVN. Well, the file is already here. So I already have the file here, but is not showing in my in my IntelliJ. So I'm going to open with Visual Studio Code. And I have the SVN file here. Amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy and paste uh, the same content of the Git. Amazing. And I'm going to remove this. And here I'm going to say echo SVN status. So now when I execute status, it's printing whatever I wanted, right? So whatever I, I created here. So now it's not going to the underlying Git file anymore. This is going to the SVN. So you even have the possibility of having different implementation there and the user is going to choose whatever it, it prefers. And if I try the VCS update, it's going to say not implemented because the parent file, which is the VCS here, is saying this is the error that I want to display. I can even change this and say anything. And this is what is going to be displayed, error, anything. Right, so uh, so this is very powerful. Now you you are ha you have the ability by the handle interface 
to direct whatever you want and by the cmd map as we just we, we just by cmd map that we just saw here you choose the direction that should go we also saw on this code specifically here that we can uh, even have a, a, a logic to decide what needs to do right this piece of code is deciding which implementation the date command is going to use and this is amazing right and one the, the, the thing that the, the next thing that we need to do is we need to uh, fix the dash l the libs so this is uh, this is not duplicated because the environment this is correct this is the content for the environment but since the next ones does not have anything then it's, it's using the previous one so if i go to git it doesn't have anything so i just need to insert this and say uh this is a i'm just copying this this is implementation this is implementation for the vcs subcommand using git and now when i do dash l i already have this here and it's duplicating the following ones so i'm going to fix everything and i'm going to come back shortly so now i already did the the description right so bb dash l now i have the description that i wrote for each and specific commands i, I don't need the helper because uh the helper are uh, using whenever i'm um, i have sub commands inside that specific file that i'm going to be executing through my cli uh and these library are supposed to be used by the commands itself and not by the user directly like calling a, a function so just a description is good enough to uh just uh have uh, uh this uh, a short description so yeah that's what i wanted to show you uh thank you for watching this far if you like it give the thumbs up uh if you haven't subscribed please do so hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos uh also subscribe to my telegram to my telegram channel that's how you have direct directly access to me and thank you for watching